Hello ladies, it's Erica here with Tiny Acorn. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome on this channel. I love to mix vintage and modern clothing um, and use sustainable brands whenever possible. Some of you guys probably already know how much I love the brand Everlane, so I'm very excited that they are partnering with me for this video today. I am going to be taking some of my absolute favorite Everlane staples that I've been wearing this whole season and I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm mixing them with my vintage pieces in my wardrobe. Kind of do a vintage and modern clothing mashup. I'm going to be posting all of these Everlane links in the description box, so don't forget to check them out. And give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so for this first look, I'm wearing this gorgeous clean silk short sleeve blouse. I love this cobalt blue color. It is made from 100% certified clean silk, so the dye is free of harmful chemicals, which is awesome. I paired this blouse with this gorgeous thrifted plaid skirt that I got while I was thrifting in Nashville with Taylor. I love plaid for the holiday season. And then I went ahead and I threw on these beautiful day boots. These are the color brick. They run true to size, 100% Italian leather, they have a side zip. I love how there's just the right amount of heel on these, and they're very, very comfy. They do mold to your feet over time. And then I decided to grab my thrifted coach purse, and then to complete this outfit, if I were to be going outside in the cold, I would want to throw on this beautiful Everlane overcoat. This is the Italian re-wool in toffee color. It is part of their recycled line and so it is made from recycled wool which is amazing. It's actually really soft. It's not itchy at all. It's fully lined. I got it in a size zero and I do think that I could have sized down to a double zero if I wanted it a little bit more snug but I did want to be able to wear this over sweaters so I got it a little bit bigger so that I could wear sweaters underneath it. So what's more fun than wearing a jumpsuit to a holiday party? I thought that the Japanese Go Weave Essential Jumpsuit here would be perfect for layering a beautiful white vintage blouse on. I actually got this blouse from my grandmother, so it's very special to me. I love the idea of wearing pieces that really mean something to you around the holidays, especially when they're connected to family members that you love. I paired this outfit with my glove boots. These are the re-knits. I got them in my normal size. I do believe that they fit true to size. They're the most comfortable boots. They're so fun. I love the pop of red with this outfit. And I decided to top the whole thing off with my little vintage purse. For this outfit, I wanted to be cozy, so I grabbed my oversized alpaca sweater that I have been reaching for nonstop this season. This sweater is my absolute favorite. I love tucking it into pants. I'm wearing the kick crop jeans in this outfit, and they're some of my favorite jeans, super, super comfortable. I love the cut off raw edge, and I paired it with these vintage lace up roper boots that I have, and I think it's just a really fun outfit. But I kind of wanted to add a little bit more to this, so I went ahead and layered on this red cashmere scarf, so soft. And I love wearing a pop of red with an outfit and a red scarf is so cute. It is a great gift idea for Christmas as well. And I wanted to pair this whole outfit with this really cute vintage herringbone jacket that I have had for quite a number of years. It might be one of my oldest vintage pieces that I've held onto. And I think it is actually a little girl's jacket, but I just think it's so cute. This whole look just kind of makes me want to go Christmas caroling. All right, so holiday party outfit number two. I had this gorgeous vintage dress that I thrifted in my thrift guide to San Francisco video with Abby. And I think it's just very pretty and simple just as is. So I didn't want to do too much to it. I decided to pair it with my Everlane Day Heels because I love how the reds are actually the exact same tone and it just creates this cohesive look. 
I was debating on pairing this outfit with these lace socks that I had, but ultimately I ended up taking them off because I wanted to go for a more elegant look as opposed to a more funky look with the socks. I decided to go ahead and throw on this gorgeous beaded purse, and then to top the whole look off, I wanted to throw on my tan fur collar coat, and I think it really glams up the whole entire look, and it makes it really festive and fun, and I'm ready to go to a holiday party. These are the 90s cheeky jean that I have been wearing every single day since I got them. I love that they're 100% cotton, no stretch, yet they're so incredibly comfortable. I do recommend sizing down. I normally wear a 26, I had to get these in a 24. I went ahead and I paired these jeans with my vintage white blouse. I threw on this super cute little red cardigan that I thrifted and I'm anchoring this whole outfit with my incredible day boots. To top it off, I grabbed this little brown bag that I thrifted with Abby. And then I wanted to show you guys how I can actually layer on the Italian re-wool overcoat if I wanted to. Like I said, I got it a little bit bigger so that I could layer sweaters on underneath it. So this is what it looks like with a sweater layered on underneath. Alternatively, you could actually lose the cardigan altogether and just wear the Italian re-wool overcoat over the top of this outfit. I think it looks very chic. And then when you go ahead and add the red cashmere scarf on top, it just creates this very luxe, chic outfit. So this outfit starts for me with the black wide leg crop pants. These I got in a size double zero. I do recommend sizing down. They have a lot of stretch in them. They're super comfy, high-waisted. They have a nice crop length, which I love. I love to tuck sweaters into them like this cashmere crew. It's incredibly warm. I love that it fits snugly so I can layer things on top of it. I went ahead and layered on the corduroy chore jacket in a golden brown. I'm sure you guys have seen me wear this before. I did mention it in my last Everlane haul and review video. I love it so much. I went ahead and paired it with my cashmere rib beanie in red. And I, of course, love a red hat, love a pop of red with an outfit. And the cashmere is so nice because normally when I'm wearing my wool beret, it's really making my forehead itchy all day. And this cashmere beanie is not scratchy on my forehead at all. So it's a pleasure to wear. And I love the idea of buttoning this corduroy jacket all the way up to the top. And it kind of just gives it this fun, funky look to it. So yeah, I went ahead and paired this whole look with my vintage Roper boots as well. All right, it's time for another holiday party. So for this look, I centered the outfit around this beautiful, sheer, white baby doll style dress. I love this dress so much, and I wanted to kind of juxtaposition the soft sweetness of the white dress with some more edgy elements. So I paired black tights underneath it with black shorts. I wore a black sports bra, and then I paired it with these super cool boss boots in a snakeskin print. I have been in love with these boots since I got them. They do fit true to size in my experience. They're super comfy for a pointy-toed boot. I was expecting my toes to be cramped, but what I've noticed with Everlane's boots is even though they're pointy-toed, they actually are very spacious and I don't get any blisters or anything like that from their shoes. They have plenty of room in the toes for me. So definitely recommend these boots. I finished the whole look off with this adorable little vintage handbag and a dark lip. And I really like how it came together. So one thing I wanted to say here about the 90s cheeky jean, are I love the waist to hip ratio. Oftentimes I struggle with having a huge gap at my waist and I have to get it taken in to the tailor. But with this jean, I find that they fit perfect in the hips and they come in just right in the waist and high right at my belly button. So I really love that. I went ahead and paired it with the oversized alpaca crew knit sweater in mustard. I love this yellow color, it's so fun. And of course, I paired it with the day boot as well. 
And then I kind of wanted to top it off with one of my old time favorites and also one of the oldest vintage coats that I own, this great plaid number. I thrifted this probably when I was right out of high school. It has a lot of holes in the lining, but I still think it looks really fabulous and unique. And I think it goes really great with this outfit. So this is one of my favorite vintage blouses that I thrifted on my thrift guide to San Francisco. I love the ruffles and the collar. It's so cute. And for this look, I wanted to just top it off with the beautiful Italian re-wool overcoat. I love the cognac color with the chambray shirt and the blue jeans and then the rust colored booties. And just to make it even more festive, for the holiday season, I grabbed my red cashmere scarf and threw it on. One of the things that I love about having a scarf for the winter time is that you're not worried about your neck being cold if you wear your hair up in a bun. And what's cuter than hair in a bun and a scarf around your neck? I don't know. Okay, so this outfit begins with my authentic stretch high-rise skinnies in a size 26. I do believe that these jeans fit true to size. I've thrown away all of my other pairs of skinny jeans. These are the only remaining skinny jeans that I own, and I just love a good black skinny, especially with these cute black Oxfords that I thrifted and this vintage green striped blouse with the hint of metallic running through it. I also wanted to throw on this cute oversized blazer in gray. It's a size zero, and I think it's a really cute look for going to the office around the holidays. It's not too Christmassy, but it's just a little hint of Christmas, and you're still having a good time, but also keeping it business casual. Here's another spin on this beautiful green vintage blouse. I paired it with the wide leg crop pants in black and threw on the day boot with this. And then I wanted to just accessorize the outfit simply with this cute little coach vintage bag that I thrifted and these cute little gold metal frame glasses. So for this look, I felt like it could go either holiday party glam or it could even go casual New Year's Eve. I just think sequins and glitter and shiny stuff is just so fitting for the holidays and I love this gorgeous vintage blouse that I thrifted for only $7. Yes, I can't believe it. You can take a sequin blouse like this and pair it with a fantastic pair of jeans and a really hot boot and you have an amazing outfit. I love this outfit with a dark lip and just this cute, simple little black handbag. And I'm ready for a cocktail. Some of you guys might remember this cute little vintage Esprit sweater from my Thrift With Me Crossroads video. I paired it here with the Cheekies 90 jean, my day boot. Then I threw on the Renew Long Puffer in the color Surplus, and I got it in an extra small. You probably remember this coat from my very first Everlane haul and review video. I love this coat. It's incredibly warm. The cool thing about this coat is it's made out of recycled plastic bottles. And to top this look off, I went ahead and paired it with my cashmere rib beanie in red. And I think the whole outfit looks super cute. I'm ready to go cut down a Christmas tree. Sometimes it's nice just to have a closet full of classic staple pieces that you don't have to think much about. That's what I love about this outfit. These are all Everlane staple pieces in my wardrobe and I can easily mix and match them and put them together for a flawless outfit every time. For this look, I wanted to go ahead and throw on a vintage accessory and in this case, my childhood beanie. I love a good pom-pom on a beanie. And yeah, this outfit turned out cute. I really like it. All right, so I hope that you got some inspiration for how you can mix some of your vintage pieces with some more modern pieces. And if you need to pick up any modern pieces that are like staples for your wardrobe, like the 90s cheeky jean that I'm wearing in this video, or even some of the boots, make sure to check out the links down in the description box 
I'm posting all of those Everlane links there for you. And again, I love this brand. They are a sustainable company, which is such a bonus. And I just love their styles. I love their ethos. Um, and I think that their price point is so affordable compared to lots of other sustainable brands out there. So jump on the Everlane bandwagon. If you haven't already, <laughs> you will fall in love, I promise. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you haven't already. And you guys, I wanted to just let you know that I will not be posting a video the day after Christmas. I'm going to be taking that time to just spend with my family and I hope you're able to do the same. I will be back the week after Christmas um, for another video. I wish you guys all the best. Remember to just take a moment and really reflect on the many, many blessings that we have. If you're able to watch this video, then truly you are very fortunate and blessed. So reflect on that, reflect on the many gifts you've been given and the blessings that you've been given. And I just hope that your heart is just filled with gratitude this year and that you're able to share that joy and um, that love with everybody that you encounter. And I bless you guys and your holiday season. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, Happy Hanukkah, whatever it is. I just hope that you have a wonderful time. You truly are a gift to the world and you are beautiful just the way you are. Bye. Mwah.